Hey everybody, welcome to this week's Paddle Monster newsletter. It's the it's the third week of October, if you can believe it. And this week, uh, we've got a, a really interesting article on choosing the right board for you. Now, you may be asking, why are we having an article, uh, our featured article on choosing the right board in the fall instead of in the spring? Well, the reason is simple. Um, the fall is the time where you want to be making decisions about the board you're going to ride for next year. Um, for starters, a lot of the manufacturers are taking orders for next year's boards now. Um, secondly, if you're in the used board market, now's the time where you can get really good deals because the prices are inflated in the spring. Um, and the other reason is, too, if you're going uh, the used board route, um, it you know it's not like you can walk into a store or order from a catalog and there's all of these options available. Sometimes you got to search for the board that you're looking for. So knowing what you're looking for is really helpful. And then you've got some time to try to track that board down before the spring. So I think you're going to find it a really interesting article. This one is more general in scope. And next week, we'll look at race boards specifically. Okay. Um, for those that are training with us, um, we're two weeks away from Chatterjack. And that means that this week's program for those that are doing Chatterjack is moderately hard. Uh, not hard to the degree that the hard weeks have been in the past. But you are working harder than you did last week, which was a recovery week. Uh, the work will be tapering off a little bit towards the end of the week. And the next week leading into the race will be extremely easy. If you are training for other events in the fall, you know that you need to work with me in the Coach's Convo on the Paddle Monster website so that I can give you customized work so that it best meets the needs that you have for the competitions that you have in the remainder of the season. And if you're finished up racing for the year, then uh, you're doing the work on the Paddle Monster program and you'll have work again to do next week. Um, and then the program's culminating and we'll be getting into uh, the off-season training. So more on that coming up in the weeks ahead. And lastly, the feature article for those that are training with us is more about Chatterjack. Uh, it was compiled by uh, Lisa Shell, and it's for those that are new to Chatterjack or don't have a lot of experience. And it's basically called the Anti-Freakout List. And it's just a list of things that you want to consider before you get to Tennessee so that, um, you know, everything is sort of under control and, and going on autopilot when you get there and you're not being confronted with things that you haven't thought about uh, race morning. So I think it's a really useful read for people that are uh, a little bit less experienced with that race. So that's it for this week. And uh, as usual, we hope you enjoy it. Uh, we're working hard to bring you content that you will find interesting and useful. And I uh, wish everyone a great week. Happy paddling.